What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Respawn. I'm Mr. Sark. And I'm Hutch. And I am feeling wonderful today. I got so much sleep last night. I slept like 11 hours. I've been going to bed at like 4 a.m. every night for the last who knows how long. Usually six hours is enough to keep me going. 11 hours, that's too much. That usually that makes you tired. Yeah, you oversleep. You know. I do it once a, like once a year, get caught up. Yeah. We're catching you guys up though on all the latest vids, the latest and greatest uploads to Respawn. And we're gonna start right now with Ken Burton, episode 119. Episode 119 of the Ken Burton Show. He's running around with the RPD on Skid Row. Go check it out. I miss the RPD, man. RP Dizzle. Is he getting any better? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he has. I mean, he's not fucking gonna be playing on Envious, but... Hey, if you go stand at the end of the walkway on Skid Row with an RPD, you're gonna go positive. So Ken Burton now would absolutely destroy Ken Burton December? Yeah, Ken Burton would fucking himself. His past self. Sounds hot. Yeah, not like Ron Jet. You, he couldn't like tuck it under like uh, Ron Jeremy supposedly could. My buddy Can you could imagine my touching buddy could... your own butthole with, <laughs> with your own dick? My, my old roommate fuck, could fuck himself in the ass and he did so about two times a year. Ugh. True story. That's hey, not gay, man. Just extreme masturbation. He did it with a condom, too, because he didn't want to cum his own asshole. Now you're fucking... I'm not old. kidding. You're lying. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Liar. I'm not kidding. No one... Ha no, that, that train of thought has never... This is going to be a long episode. But that train of thought has never crossed a man's mind. i got to put a condom on so that I don't jizz in my own butthole. Ever. I, gar no I guarantee you it Get has. Get him on the phone. Well, guys like you and me don't need to worry about it because we're tall. And my fucking uh, taint is like 18 inches long. My butthole is like in my lower back. I don't know why. Why it fucking is weird. Could be like a vestigial tail joint. You have, the, uh, you have skid marks on the back of your shirt? Is that what happens? I, shit, I have to lay on the, my back on the toilet. <laughs> mm. Every time I sit on the toilet, I just spray all over the tank. So what is going to be the Black Ops equivalent of the RP Dizzle? If you've got an answer to that, guys, oh my god, is that Kevin, Kevin, is that a seven kill streak? So that's one call out down. Just a few more to go. You, you guys wanted a long episode. That's, that's what we're going to deliver. So the next video coming up is from Team Fear Pro. For those of you that, that aren't in the know, uh, competitive Call of Duty is just a different beast altogether from from pubs. First of all, you have different settings like no kill streaks. Uh, then you have different respawn settings for domination, things like that. And the level of gameplay, it's like you could be a pub stomper, but once you run into a decent team, man, it takes some organization. So go check these guys out. They've been they've been ripping it up on the Call of Duty scene uh, on game battles in MLG since COD 4. So uh, what was that? Two years ago? Three years ago now? Mm -hmm. So they've been around for a little while. Check it out. That was a lot of words you just said. He goes right, gets a knife there on pure adrenaline, gets another, falls up with a nice kill on Subliminal, and guys, usually we don't see Demolition go that quickly, but Team Fear dominates the first round on offense. Before you told me to keep it short, because there's a lot of call-outs, and now you're saying that just between... Whatever, long, long and... Uh, like, Fellowship of the Ring is long, it's not fucking boring. Between us right now, none of this is gonna air. Don't do that, you make me look bad. Oh, and talking about your friend who fucks his own asshole with his... Oh, that's, that's a personal that's anecdote. Toby's playing Halo, and he's sucking at it as usual, and it's absolutely wonderful. Go watch it, episode 11. Watching him fight hunters is awesome. Go check it out. We have to redo that, because we were talking about the thing just right before that. What did I just say about making me look bad? What's next? All right, giant green. Shieldy. Glow monsters of doom, bring it! I'm going. Ah! You went, ah! Oh my shoulder! Well, since you're such a pro at introing videos, just uh, I'm just gonna stand here. I don't need to say a fucking thing. Do that for a change. Yeah, for once I think in your I life. Will. Shut your fucking face. Bryce has got a uh, new vid up. He's doing uh, some uh, singing in this one. One hit on my ex. It's a little uh, Halo ballad. Go check it out. Very uh, catchy. I like it. It that hits was, home. That was a really good intro, what you just said right there. 
I couldn't, yeah. have, I couldn't have said it better myself, really. Yeah, it was. That's why I said it. Yeah, you did really, really good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You were born for this job. Your hair, your spiky, lovable hair, your, your complexion. My 18-inch taint. This is your 18-inch taint. All right, guys, Swordsman has a new uh, episode of Briefing Room. It's called Briefing Room, right? Oh, my God. Swordsman has a new episode of Briefing Room where he's breaking down the, what's the gun again? It's like the Space Pumas. The X-11. It's the X. It's a, he's breaking down a gun. It's got, a, it's got like a graphics, it's like a chalkboard, right? It's like he's teaching, so they use, he uses like a chalkboard. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really good. Whenever I get into the briefing room, I like to break down a weapon, explain its damage, explain its range, explain everything that there is to know about that particular weapon to give you all the information you need to make a good choice on what weapon you're going to take with you into the battlefield. Construction. Harmonizing. <laughs> what could possibly being have started being built while we're shooting right now? Uh, perfect. Jesus, Schubert Christ. What happened to class? Every time we go somewhere to shoot, it's like cacophony. And consideration. We don't ask much, not much. Just shut down whatever it is you're doing so we can shoot our episode for 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. For like a, like a square block. It's a whore alley. You don't need anything new here. Just let the whores have their peace. How do whores okay. even know how to operate a, like heavy machinery? That's, oh, you think it's whores building everything? Well, that's an they, interesting theory, actually. That's not a theory, I know. They Look, could be building sex devices. That's exactly right. Dunkus is continuing his series on weapon history lessons. In this one, he's going down the MG42. Go check it out. Very informative, as usual. Uh, I'm glad he's on our side. I'm just gonna go on the record with that. When you were in grade school, did you get the shit kicked out of you? Me? Yeah. No, because I moved around a lot. If I hadn't moved around a lot, I probably would have. Foster homes? Your parents didn't love you. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. None of my parents ever loved me. Mm -hmm. And now we've got the MG42, and basically, quite frankly, it just means machine gun that was made in 1942. <laughs> Nuclear and Twiggy have this, this new series that they're going to be starting up going over montage moments. So because of copyright, things like that, you know, we can't put music uh, up on our network. So these guys found a nice little workaround. Why not just take the music off and uh, drop some commentary over it? And they have some like witty back and forth uh, banter between them. They're pretty funny. And they have, uh, you know, cute little un-American accents. Always a fan. So. It's like peanut butter and chocolate. Montage and commentary combined at last. Peanut butter and chocolate. Peanut butter M&Ms were hands down my favorite. Candy? For, yeah, for the wall. No, not candy. Just M&Ms. How many other kinds of M&Ms are there? Almond, milk chocolate, mini, white chocolate. Mini is not a flavor. Well, it's not flavor, but it's a type. The texture changes everything. I hate you with every fiber of my fucking being. Whenever the sniper lobbies were popular, I always used to think about everyone saying that if you're a host, you don't get triples. I mean, I don't really understand how that works or not, but... You guys should also check out uh, Realm's latest video. Realm is our uh, MMO RPG division. Uh, they actually are down in the front lobby of the office in this video chatting with Adrian Curry, who uh, is not only an ex America's Next Top Model, uh, she is married to one of the Brady Bunch, and she is totally hot and wearing a tank top in the video. Why would you not watch this? Well, That's what I thought. I've had better. No good reason. <clears throat> huh? I've had better. I'm not trying to brag. Yeah? Was this, uh, was this around the time that you were bunking up with self-buttfucker? 
Oh. Uh, that, that ladies love that. You could call that the horseshoe. Call that move the horseshoe. What would you call that move? I don't know, your dick would have to be like. Could be like uh, fly fishing. I'm going fly fishing tonight. <laughs> Come on, don't leave me hanging here. Uh. <laughs> the boomerang. Mm -hmm. Cause it comes, it, that comes, it comes back. And what, what spec is your DK? Uh, my DK used to be uh, Blood and Unholy, but now that Blood is tanking, I went to Frost and Unholy. Okay, many of you guys thought that we posted the same video four times on our network, but indeed we did not. Uh, we actually posted four different videos of our Respawn Dev Diaries, where we're talking about our newest Facebook application. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. It's the same intro. That's where the confusion yeah, is coming from. Yeah. It's like this first 15 seconds. Did you read some of those comments? Yeah, which- Stop spamming my subscription box with the same video. The attention span uh, is kind of impressive there. E if you literally can't get past the pre-roll before you're like, same. Right. No, you mean impressive for a different reason because it's so shit. Yeah, I'm impressed by how terrible it is. Uh-huh. Fuck you. Weird. That is fresh. Gutex and Mike Ross also have a new episode of Cross Counter Up, which you guys should go watch. Uh, and they have a special guest this time, Gamer B. Basically, one of my favorite professional Street Fighter Four players. Uh, he runs with Adon. If you're not familiar with Gamer B, just YouTube Gamer B, because he's fucking epic. Nicest dude ever from Taiwan. Go check him out. It's like the Paul Rudd of Street Fighter. <clears throat> hey, no, not really at all. No, matter of opinion. He's. M when I play the Momochi, I think the, he don't know the matchup so well, so I took the ben, advantage okay. from him. Yeah. But in that moment, I almost got a win. Starting at midnight for the launch of Black Ops, we are going to be live streaming our progress from first prestige to 15th prestige, nonstop, 24 hours a day. In between the office, we're going to be taking four hour shifts and playing the game all hours of the night. So if you guys are in the UK, Tune in it, what? What's up? Why are you laughing? Nothing, I can't wait for this. It's gonna be fun. Now I'm sensitive. I just thought, I thought what you were saying, I was like giddy and excited. No, God. you take it from here. What a fucking princess. Anyway, this is a great uh, way for you guys to meet some of the people that work here in the office because we are, so many of us are taking shifts. Uh, in fact, that opening night, right when, it, right when it's go time, because we're starting at midnight. No shenanigans. <laughs> what? Thoughts? Oh, I was just, I was remembering something funny that happened yesterday. We're starting at midnight and we're gonna power through this thing and a whole bunch of us are gonna be here so it's gonna be party time on Ustream, you guys should check it out. Uh, I also, I solemnly swear to you guys that I'm gonna bring some incredibly inappropriate shit to that stream, so. Uh, and you never know when it's gonna happen. I know our Facebook, Twitter people are gonna try and stay on top of them and be like, Sark's about to do something crazy, but you never know, you never know. They never know. Nobody knows. I'm seeing thongs. It is gonna get on banana hammocks. Do they allow nasty? Do they allow nudity on UStream? No. They will fucking kill me if I show my balls on UStream. So that's Ooh. not gonna happen. If you want to see my balls, just PM me. But what if be... your balls slip out on accidentally? Maybe it would just depend on if everyone flagged it and was like, "Hey, eh, so excited about that." So you're saying that if they don't flag it, you could do whatever you wanted Incredibly with your balls. Incredibly true. No so, one at Ustream is going to be awake at 3 a.m. when my balls fall out of my robe. It's like an honor my system. My monogrammed robe. Then, well, it's going to be mainly the European. How do you Europeans feel about balls and just in general? More specifically, how do you feel about Sark's balls? Um, a comment would be appreciated. That way we be could- Be gentle. We could gauge. Is that a joke? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not very Be funny. gentle with my balls. No, I understand it. It's just. So it's going to be awesome. Links, uh, appropriate links for the event are gonna be in the info for this video where our tech guys are in there working out the details right now. But we are gonna be awake a lot. And we're gonna be playing a lot of Black Ops. Uh, and so we'll let you guys know when like Adam or Sark, whenever we switch shifts, we'll let you guys know. So the guys that people actually give a shit about, like me, will, you know. The person who gives a shit. And when Sark so comes on. He's out on, there somewhere. When Sark comes on and they're, they're about to alert you that he's coming on, 
it's like you know, oh okay, I can go, I can go, the dude, the I can go dude, change dude, my dude, laundry dude. in like 30 minutes, and just whatever. Skip out. You're not even gonna get a shift because I'm gonna hit 15 prestige in fucking two and a half hours. Uh, well, shotgun bang. What's up with that thing? I want to know. Have fun How with does the it hang? Monogram, robe. Is that just salt and pepper? Teaser. They're really good. Yep. Until the AIDS. <laughs> you guys should definitely go check out Realm's latest uh, video, the MMORPG branch of uh, Machinima. They are in our front lobby and they are talking to Adrian Curry. I just did like the presidential thing. Ch change is in the wind, people. Vote for me. I'm a black president. Yeah. That's why he won. Come on.